Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. In today's video, we'll be working here on a Chevy Cruze guys and we will explain where to locate, where you can locate the airbag module, airbag computer guys, what needs to be done to remove it, replace it. We're going to explain all that today. Quick introduction guys, we'll have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can. So please guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully you will find the information helpful guys. Now, if you need any parts guys or any tools for your car, check out the link in the description of the video below. You can purchase pretty much anything guys for a super good price, fast shipping as well. Check it out. And now we'll be working on a 2015 Chevy Cruze guys. Uh, but doesn't matter if you have a 12, 13, 15, the first generation should be that way guys. And we'll explain where that uh, airbag, airbag control module is located. In case your car was in an accident or yours need to be replaced, sometimes they go bad. If, you're, if it was in an accident, you need to install a new one or rebuild your old one. So you will need to remove it for that purpose, guys. Now, what we will be doing here now, check it out. This cover, guys, okay, let's hold the camera like that. Okay, this cover right here needs to come out. You don't need to remove the whole center console or anything like that. What I do, I pull it on the front first. Okay, it comes out like that. Then I start pulling it apart usually. Panel removal tool makes things easier if you can get there. Okay, okay, here we have a couple clips. Those on top are super tight sometimes. Okay, so the clips I'm talking about one, two, three. Right here, guys, you have two that actually go under that plastic, so you have to be careful not to break it. You have one on the bottom, and then you just have one more, okay, right here on top, uh, uh, on the front, excuse me, on the front, that actually slides in there. Now, let me explain, guys, okay, where that airbag control module is located. Look at it now. You're going to see, guys, that you have your BCM, body control module, right there, and you're still trying to figure out okay where that thing is but if you guys remove okay okay that air duct right here guys now over here if you look okay you lift that thing up a little bit let me see if i can get it out of the way to show you this is guys your airbag control module so on this side guys okay you have right here okay let me see you have one nut right there one next to it on the other side and you will have okay on this side i don't think you have a nut so let me go ahead i'll go to the driver's side and show you guys the connector is actually on the driver's side so we'll be doing exactly the same thing on the driver's side of the car so let's go ahead and remove the cover on the other side now and i'll show you how to access the connector every time you guys mess with your airbag system or you're anything close to airbag sensors, you have to disconnect your car battery at least one hour before the repair. If you're not qualified guys and certified, do not do the repair or anything like that, because those things, airbags can kill you guys, and they can kill your passengers too, so you have to be extremely careful. Now, we're going to hold the camera like that here, and I'm going to remove one more cover on this side. Okay, let's see if it's going to come out now. Okay, perfect. This cover came out. It's exactly identical like the one on the other side. And if I go ahead and remove that air duct again, guys, what is going to happen? We have two airbag, okay, two airbag uh, wires here that are connected. Okay, the one, we have one nut on this side. So all together we have three nuts with 10 millimeters. Okay, you remove those guys. Then that red thing needs to slide back. Okay, slide it out. Then you push right here and you open that connector you slide it over and it's going to open guys okay you can see like that you slide it and remove it so pretty simple guys not very complicated at all if you need to remove it replace it that's it guys three nuts and two wires and you're ready to go from that point on so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you having problems with that please guys subscribe to the channel for more videos um, give a like if you guys have any questions leave a comment below thank you for watching and see you guys next time